So let's start on the topic on compounds. A compound is a substance made up of two or more different elements or compounds chemically combined together in a fixed ratio. When a compound is being formed, a chemical reaction will occur and usually heat or light is given in or taken out. For example, magnesium, when it's combined with sulfur, you will form a compound called magnesium sulfide. As a result, compounds are all pure as it consists of only one type of substance. The compound also has properties that are different from those of the substance that produce it. For example, we have water, H2O. When water is formed, it does not have the properties of hydrogen and oxygen which made up water. The compound also can only be broken down into simpler substance by chemical methods such as decomposition or even exposing it to heating, to light or electrolysis when you pass an electric current through them. Okay, and lastly, different elements in a compound are combined in a fixed ratio by mass. Example, for water again, it's H2O. It's always combined with two atoms of H and one atom of oxygen. Let us look at more examples of compounds. When carbon and oxygen combine in a chemical reaction, carbon dioxide is formed and heat or light energy is given, given out. When nitrogen oxide and oxygen combine, they actually form nitrogen dioxide, a new compound. When ammonia and hydrogen chloride is combined, they will form ammonium chloride. When iron and copper 2-sulfate combines, it forms iron sulfate and copper. And lastly, when copper 2-sulfate and sodium hydroxide combines, they will form copper 2-hydroxide and sodium sulfate.